Joining us now on CBS Sports HQ, Evan Neal from Alabama here at the Combine in Indianapolis. And, uh, Evan, these guys are obviously going to ask you about the Combine experience, but what's the latest in terms of fans of yourself, of what the plan is for you here in Indy this week? Well, really just to do medical and interview, uh, get in the interview room with the coaches and give them a feel for my overall character and, you know, just let them get around me and see who I am as a person, as a man. And the rest stuff, pro day will come for you physically and all the yes. workout stuff? Yes, I just wanted to give myself a little bit more time. You know, I had a long season. So I just really wanted to give myself a little bit more time to prepare. So everyone knew coming into the season about the the box jump video that went viral, which is, I'm tall. Look, like I'm taller than you. I want to make that. So I can't do the box jump. And as you know, once we stand up, that the show's over. But uh, this is a big day for me just because I, I'm taller than somebody finally. But I want to ask you specifically about your face in that Alabama defense every day in practice. So there are no surprises, but you also play in the SEC against a bunch of guys who are going to be playing on Sunday as well. Are, are there guys that you face in the SEC that you really had to pay attention to because your athleticism is off the hook, your your ability to get into space and move is unparalleled? But I want to know who, who are the guys that you felt gave you a tough time in the SEC. Well, in practice, for sure, starting off with practice, I can say Christian Barmore on the inside, for sure. He's definitely a guy that got me better, for sure. And uh, Will Anderson, he definitely, uh, we got each other better. You know, he's a really special athlete, and he's a special talent. Um, because you played both inside and out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You, you know what I, I, I hate about the, the draft complex is when folks just say, oh, yeah, just move him inside the guard. Oh, yeah, just kick him outside the tackle. But there's nuances that are involved. There's levels to this. What are some of the things that goes on from playing inside that you can't do outside and vice versa? Well, on the inside, everything just happens faster, so your reaction time has to be different. You know, you pretty much have to set and throw your hands like right now. But at tackle, you have to have more patience, and the set angles are different for sure. Do you find yourself getting, uh, let's say if you're outside, like, all right, I can't be aggressive, or I'm inside, I can't be too patient. It's just sometimes those wires cross to where it can throw you off for a rep? Um, you kind of got to gauge it and, you know, uh, feel it out for sure. And it kind of depends on the guy that I'm going up against. Uh, if I feel like it's a guy that a, a guy that's really, really good with his hands, he's going to knock him down. I have to be more patient with my punch and be better with timing it up. And, and last for me is uh, film study. You know, from an offensive perspective, everybody talks about the skill guys mm -hmm. and what they do to watch film. What, what are some of the keys that you are finding from, don't give everything away, some of the keys you're finding from D-linemen that they tend to tip off, oh, I know it's about to come. So that way I can get myself in a better position. Um, well, say if it's a third down situation, and uh, if a guy's in a narrow sprinter stance, I know he's going to give me his best speed move. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's the easy one on the, on the test. Uh, so let me ask you about playing at Alabama and, and playing for Coach Saban and all the expectations to come with that. Because the, the thing about Coach Saban is and it, it feels like, and you might be able to speak to this differently, that he's gotten a, a little, I don't want to say kind uh, uh, Softer, but in terms of he's 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 a little more open to, to conversation with talking with with young people. But what has he been for you and your teammates in terms of uh, being a leader? Because we hear some of the things he says outside of football that are on point in terms of, of yeah. what young people need to do to, to better themselves. Uh, definitely, you know, he talks about being a leader, and sometimes being a leader is not always going to be the most popular thing. You know, you do what's right because it's what's right. You know, not because it's what's going to be popular. So definitely, and it seems like everyone gets that message because if they don't, they don't play. Right. <laughs> yeah, and there's no two-way conversation. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we got to start wrapping things up. We appreciate you joining us here in CBS Sports HQ. Enjoy the week. Get right. We'll see you at Pro Day, and then we'll see you on Sunday. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. All right. Evan Neal, by the way, is projected to be selected fifth overall. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.